Hello friends. In this video, I will be discussing about the 10 best books for a beginner into the piping industry. This is part 1 of the video containing 5 best books. Other 5 best books are presented in the part 2 of the video. Understanding piping codes, various references and cross references made within the codes are often dull, boring and brings a general air of malaise, mostly for the beginners. Repercussions of this are widely seen in beginners who tend to drift away from the basics at the time when they should be actually mastering the concepts and thus creating a void in the later part of the career. As guidebooks use to help students to explain a difficult written literature in much more simplified, interesting and easy to correlate manner, those early days, uh, student days when we used to refer to the guidebooks, similarly, a guidebook called Process Piping, The Complete Guide to SMA B31.3 and written by Charles Becht 4. So this is a guidebook to the ASME B31.3. Dr. Charles Becht 4 is a recognized authority in pressure vessels, piping, expansion joints and elevated temperature design. Dr. Beck is chair of the ASME B31.3 Process Piping Committee and president of Beck Engineering Company Inc., a consulting engineering company. Process Piping, the complete guide to ASME B31.3, presents ASME code in much simpler way and also explains lucidly why ASME B31.3 Bible is like that. That is why so many references, cross references are there and the nature of the code being like that. The greatest stuff within this book is that it doesn't enter into the arena of references and cross references, which actually SMB 31.3 or any of the code does, but instead gives an overall picture with proper explanation, which unfortunately SMB 31.3 won't be able to due to its inherent purpose and the nature. So if you want to gain mastery over piping codes, process piping, the complete guide to SAMB 31.3 will prove to be a great help to you. Now, in case you believe in study which correlates several facts together and then analyzes it one to one in order to provide a complete grasp of the subject material, then in that case, we do have another book. That's Piping Systems and Pipeline, ASMEB 31 code simplified. It's by Philip Allenberger. This book is by TMH companies and gives comparative explanation on various subjects within the SME code like wall thickness formulations, underground and above ground codes and various other code sections. So B31.1, B31.3, 31.4, 31.8, 31.11, they all are compared section wise and thus we do have a complete overall picture of what is stated in which code and why and how much is we do have the safety or the margins considered. Philip Allenberger was involved with the standards writing community of ASME and MSS. While doing that, he also taught pressure vessels and piping design and gave various seminars. In case you want to continue in the same momentum as your graduation studies, particularly in Piping Stress Engineering book, that will be more suitable as Piping Stress Engineering by L.C. Peng. In this book, explanation of the content are simplified to such an extent that it can be used as an advanced text for graduate students in these fields. It's very much simplified explanations and illustrations. This book is authored by Lian Peng, who died recently after a short illness. Elsie Peng was the president of Peng Engineering in Houston, Texas and the original developer of the several innovative programs in the field of pipe stress. Like old wine, as one advances in his piping engineering career and the more one tries to be allied with the basic concepts from the first place, the more he realizes the content of the design of piping systems by M.W. Kellogg's company. So this book is a masterpiece and a gem in fact. Today also one will find pipe support being designed and the principles laid down in this book. 
even though the language is difficult and contents are not so interesting but still this book shares a great place for describing the topics effectively and perhaps the best book for piping design and process plant layout there again is a masterpiece available in the form of process plant layout and piping design and it's by Roger Hunt and Bauschberg This professionally illustrated comprehensive guidebook covers the basics of piping layout. Most of the preliminary layout ideas connected to any equipment evolves from this book. So, you can read this book all attentively for effective layout knowledge and overall layout mastery. For more books on piping stress, layout, materials and design, you do check part 2 of this video. Thank you.